I'm willing to bet there isn't a single person watching this video who hasn't felt the kind of paranoia that comes with watching your phone's battery slowly tick towards zero. The feeling of being disconnected and to some degree less capable than you just were is something no one ever wants to feel. But this isn't a video about the psychological effects of your phone dying on you, though now that I think about it, that is kind of a good idea. Anyway, smartphone makers have moved to address this problem by squeezing ever larger batteries into smartphones. It's the obvious solution and one that I am perfectly fine with. I would much rather have a thick phone that lasts for days instead of a skinny one that I need to coddle. That approach won't fly for everyone though, which explains the rise of yet another solution, super fast charging. Now, fast charging has been around for years, but within the last 12 months, we've seen companies really push the boundaries of how fast a phone can charge, and Oppo is the most recent example. This past week, Oppo pulled back the curtain on its 125 watt flash charge tech, which is designed to charge a compatible 4,000 milliamp hour battery from zero to totally full in just 20 minutes. If you don't have quite that much time, flash charge will get you from bone dry to about 41% in five minutes. Oppo says that when it comes to safety, flash charge is designed to keep the phone's temperature under 104 degrees Fahrenheit, and there are 13 sensors, including one in the charger itself, to make sure that's the case. Oppo is also using some level of hardware encryption here to make sure that only certified cables can take in the maximum available current. There are some caveats to make note of here though. The current version of Oppo's flash charge system essentially requires dual cell batteries, which Actually, logistically, isn't that big a deal. The other thing to keep in mind is that we do not know when this specific fast charging tech will actually wind up in a smartphone. If some of this does sound a little familiar, congratulations on having a pretty good memory. Vivo, Oppo's corporate stablemate under parent company BKK, talked up a 120 watt fast charging system last year that'll take your phone with a 4,000 milliamp hour battery from zero to full in just 15 minutes. That charging tech should debut in a smartphone made by Vivo offshoot I IQ, I chew, I cannot pronounce this, IQOO this August. But, and there's always a but, Despite these companies' attempts to mitigate the effects of super fast charging on the batteries themselves, some kind of impact was inevitable. We haven't been able to find anything on the English language internet about how Vivo's charging approach could affect overall battery longevity, but mechanically, it does seem very similar to what Oppo has been working on, which again makes sense. They are owned by the same company after all. Here's the thing. Oppo admits that a phone's maximum battery capacity will be, quote, maintained, unquote, at 80% after 800 charge cycles. Assuming you charge your phone from dead to full once a day, that works out to over two years of your continued normal use before battery life diminishes to that point. Of course, that number comes from Oppo itself, and I'm not suggesting that they're lying or anything, but it is obviously in their best interest to paint this technology in the most flattering light possible. On the surface, this won't be an issue for some people. If you're the kind of person who gets a new phone every year or every two years, you won't really be affected. If anything, knowing that your phone's max battery life is deteriorating that quickly could reinforce your decision to just buy a new phone. But the great many people who are holding onto their phones longer than ever could be looking at a wave of devices with batteries that just don't hold out the same way that they used to. Just look at Oppo's existing 65 watt fast charge tech. The company has said that phones using that charging system will see their max capacity sink to just 91% after the same 800 charge cycles. This new 125 watt charging system is undeniably convenient, but also just kind of a step in a bad direction for battery health. Sure, people could pay to have those batteries replaced, but those old batteries still need to be responsibly handled, and that just doesn't always happen. You can't chuck these things in the trash or in the recycling bin, and if you ever have done that, please, please stop. An article published last year in the American Chemical Society's Chemical and Engineering News estimates that because of technical, economic, and other factors, less than 5% of lithium-ion batteries are recycled today. 
The last thing I want to do is be an alarmist, but if new fast charging technologies are leading to decreased battery longevity, it's at least somewhat likely we'll see more of these things in landfills and in other places they do not belong. In other words, it might just be that we're getting to a point where fast charging is getting a little too fast. I'm personally torn. I love the idea of being able to sit in front of a charger for five minutes and be ready to go for the rest of the night, but there are implications here that I don't think a lot of people have really fully thought out. I think it's telling that most of these technologies just haven't been implemented in a smartphone so far. Vivo's I chew, I chew that thing is the first, and we'll see how that goes. But I think we could all stand to take a closer look at how these companies are approaching our batteries and the wider impact that could have. Anyway, thanks for watching our quick look at Oppo's new battery technology and batteries in general. If you have any feedback about this video or about fast charging in general, please leave it in the comments or email me at v at and thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.